Hey, this is just a little tutorial for Coolant Skip for MGS2 PC speedruns on normal and above. We're currently on normal. This only works on normal and above. And the way this trick works is we're going to use coolant and a little trick we do with a coolant to skip this whole fight and save 20 to 30 seconds over doing the normal method uh, with stingers and other stuff. So what we have to do is we have to have M9 in a coolant equipped on previous. And so when we go into this fight, we're going to skip the cutscene to the beginning. And as soon as we gain control of the fight, so at the beginning of the fight, when it fades in, you want to check the timer in the top right corner. Obviously, if you're doing speed runs, you'll have BMN's tool, the timer in the top corner there. And you'll check whichever time it says on that, that clock there, and you'll make note of it. Then you want to turn, Trank Snake, and then you're going to run back to this little bridge that we enter the room in on. And there's a block on the floor. It's like a blocked line, white block line. It reads 40 on it. It'll say 40 on it. You want to stand on that block line, and then you want to equip the coolant, Turn turbo on because that way you won't run out of coolant as you spray. When you spray co the coolant with turbo, you don't run out of coolant because it's just perfectly like timed. So you always keep a, a, you have an unlimited amount of coolant in there. And then you'll wait for the tengus to get close to you, and then you'll start spraying them, and it will distract them. They'll keep waving their faces because they're getting hit in the face with this coolant spray. And then you'll wait the timer that you you take note of when you start the fight you'll need to add between one minute five and one minute ten or anywhere in between so you can go one minute five one minute six one seven one eight one nine one ten one five one minute five being the lowest you could go any lower than that and the trick will fail and you'll have to take a continue which means losing time one ten is the highest you can go before you start losing time, eventually Snake will wake up, and if Snake wakes up, the trick will be failed. You won't be able to do the trick. You'll still have to take a continue. So between one minute five, one minute ten, and the number you choose is just depending on how comfortable you're feeling at the time in the run, or just how comfortable you are with the trick. This is definitely a trick that you should practice because it's probably something you're not going to get first off, or you might be in the wrong spot. You might just not wait enough time. You might misjudge it. Either way, you might miss the timer at the beginning of the game because. At the beginning of the fight because that's up that's definitely the key thing you need to make note of that time you need to remember that time that you started the fight on so we'll do it here and we'll show it so we come in here normally you would cartwheel and equip both these items to save time obviously do it mid cartwheel so you're not wasting time but we'll just equip them here and this is the line that i stated you need to stand on this line that says 40 on it so you would stand here have turbo on so that you don't run out of coolant you'd wait for the tengus to get close and then you would just do this for the 1 minute 5 or 1 minute 10 or whichever number in between that you're going to let you just wait here and you wait for the timer to read the, the correct time with that with those that minute 5 or whatever you want to do added between them whichever number you're going to pick that you feel comfortable with and then you would stop and then you would PPK 3 of the guards you're going to punch punch kick the 3 guards and knock them down you need to do 3 of the guards otherwise you will uh, it will be inconsistent Three, knocking three Tengus is pretty much consistent to get the alert to drop. Hitting one or two, you can get it to drop, but it's not often that that works. So we'll do it here. We'll start the fight. We start the fight. We get one minute two. So we start the fight at one 125.02. So if we add 105 to that, and we'll wait 105, and then we'll wait till that number reads the correct time with that one minute five added, and then we'll punch, punch, kick these Tengus three of them and we should get the alert to cancel and the trick should work so that'll be 126.06 um, sorry 126.07 read so we'll wait 126.07 126.08 should be good should work and then we'll be fine you see the tengu start to shift around they'll either move back or they move off to a different side <clears throat> don't worry about that they should stay within range anyway and if they don't if one or two end up on the outs outside or whatever they'll just stand there they can't attack you usually but just as long as you keep spraying them we're at 126 so far we'll go 126.08 knock them down and there we go you see the alert ended there we go that's the Tenga trick. Skip the cutscenes and we're on to the soldier speech. Hopefully this helps people get uh, coolant skip down. This is a, a, a nice trick. It saves a good chunk of time. But it definitely requires some practice. And I know a lot of people struggle with it. So hopefully this helps. And good luck in your runs.